Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will see how how to create a, a custom commands in Cypress. So till now, we have seen all, already existing commands like visit, get, uh, many other commands we have used the children as so we have used many commands here uh, uh, till now. So how we can create our own custom commands in Cypress? So if you see our code uh, uh, before that we have written. So when we are using before each um, uh, lifecycle hook, uh, in every in every uh, spec file we have written all these four lines of code. See if you see uh, all my code contains um, uh, this uh, duplicate lines of code. So how how we can reduce um, uh, this uh, lines of code um, by creating a, a simple custom command and uh, using that custom command. Okay, so. To create a custom command, so basically uh, you will see there is a support folder in a uh, uh, project. There you will see the commands.js file. Okay. So here uh, they have given some uh, uh, sample commands. Okay. So what I am going to do is uh, I am going to create a login command. Okay. So I am just uh, copying this one, uh, creating a command so let's this is uh, our command name whatever we are adding um, uh, in the uh, add function that will be our uh, uh, command name and then you need to if you want if you are looking for any uh, arguments to be passed to your uh, code then you can pass that arguments or you can um, uh, set it as a uh, empty so most of the time uh, we'll pass for login uh, uh, we'll send um, uh, username and uh, password or email and password uh, some other cases they will pass some uh, secret codes also okay so in this case uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass username and then the password okay so in this custom command what we need to do is we need to uh, load the uh, login web page and then enter username and then password and click on submit button so we are already doing that in our um, uh, all the pages so what i will do is i will copy that uh, lines of code and then i'll i'll paste here okay so whatever we are typing as a username here I'll replace that with uh, the argument that we are getting uh, to this uh, command okay and then password with the password command so we now need to hard code uh, this uh, username and password here so we can uh, send those username and password dynamically and we can use the same login um, uh, command for uh, different uh, usernames and passwords so in this way you can create a, a custom command okay let's see how we how we can use this uh, custom command so for that what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to create another test file custom commands dot uh, cy dot js okay so describe custom command you say custom command and then so in before each uh, life cycle hook what i am going to do is uh, unlike before now i am going to use cy dot login so we have given so we have given uh, login as our command name right so what i am going to do is i am going to use that command name which which accepts uh, two parameters one is the first parameter is username and the second parameter is password okay so in the username i am going to pass admin and in the password uh, parameter i am going to add password admin123 okay so in this way we can um, use the custom uh, commands so to test that uh, command let's write one uh, uh, test case okay so login with custom command
okay so here after logging what what we can do just uh, we'll click on um, uh, some link uh, so we are having multiple links right so here let, let's click on recruitment link uh, cy dot contains equipment and then click on that link okay let's validate this okay if you go to uh, cypress test runner then if you see the custom commands uh, cy.js yeah if you see it is it is working as usual uh, before even uh, if you if you are uh, using a uh, custom commands so before we are writing that um, uh, four lines of code everywhere in each uh, before uh, each uh, lifecycle method but instead of uh, using that four lines of code now we are using simple one line of code here uh, one line of code okay so this command now we can use uh, everywhere to uh, log into application so let's create um, uh, one more custom command um, okay uh, so that we can see the usage also so if you see uh, this um, clicking recruitment uh, mm, uh, and uh, clicking on this kind of uh, add button we have used it uh, multiple times so we have used it for um, uh, a text box and then um, I think we have used it in the checkboxes uh, uh, spec file so we have used it multiple times so uh, let's create another um, uh, custom command and replace uh, all this with that custom command and see whether it will work or not okay so for that um, what I'm going to do uh, let's copy this and then so in this scenario i'm not expecting any uh, a parameter what i want to do is uh, i directly want to uh, click on this recruitment and then click on uh, plus button there okay so i'm copy pasting that one but for this uh, i'm uh, naming the command name as uh, recruitment okay so to access uh, that one uh, we need to use cy dot uh, uh, recruitment command it will automatically click and then uh, click on that uh, add button okay so if i save it uh, and then um, what we need to do is if you go to uh, one of our uh, test cases um, uh, to replace that with the recruitment so we have used it in uh, uh, handle uh, text box so what i'm going to do is i'm commenting this and then what i will do is cy dot um, recruitment okay i'll use simply like this instead of clicking that button every time so writing instead of writing Uh, multiple lines of code every time so i'll simply uh, write this uh, single line of code okay let's see uh, whether it will work or not uh, in uh, handle text box okay let's um, navigate to handle uh, text box um, spec file and run it See the test case is passed first test case is already passed and the moment um, yeah okay if you see both uh, test cases are passed here uh, even uh, we are using uh, in this case we are using the uh, custom commands so in this way you can now uh, uh, create um, uh, custom commands wherever uh, it is required wherever we are using common code uh, multiple times so we can put that common code at one place and uh, uh, we can send the parameters uh, if it requires okay whatever the parameters it requires so uh, we can send those parameters and then we can use it 
and create a um, uh, commands uh, the way that uh, we need okay so we can create multiple commands here thank you